Okay, this is the Apex Ultralight by Coachman. The model on this one is 289 TBSS Apex Ultralight. Okay, so starting in, 28 foot trailer. Okay, so it has the master bedroom the wardrobe drawers over top the front window that can be opened it has a window on each side of the master bedroom for cross through breeze okay entertainment center so it has a small tv there it has a couch pulls out to a bed also you can separate the two halves right there for an armrest and USB ports for charging on the couch. Table. Standard table, not a U-shape. Table does fold down, and you can flip the tabletop to have it extended outward if you want. Um, Cross-through in the uh, cross-through windows for breeze in the uh, super slide tip-out. Okay, refrigerator. Gas and electric. Microwave. It's a three burner stove. How does that glass? Okay, so it has a three burner stove. I believe you can just remove that glass away from there. Oh, I'll stand it up in the back. Okay. And it has a small oven. The brand is Furion for the oven. Oh, getting a glare. Okay. It's a Greystone microwave. It is a. Dometic refrigerator. Okay, so I'm going to back up. Looking into the back, right beside the kitchen there, you have the bathroom door. You have your thermostat. So your bathroom, you have a nice countertop, a lower shelf. You have an upper medicine cabinet. Toilets against the wall. And it has a small bathtub for babies. Shower sunlight over top of that okay coming into the back for the children you have a what they call a bunk house here so what you have is you have a bottom bunk and an upper bunk and it has a pocket door that slides out right here so it has a couch underneath the the other upper bunk that couch turns into another bed so you can technically you have four kids back here you have some storage underneath has a set up for a TV back here for the kids room you have your upper cabinet one two then TV and then one two below okay as you're walking back into the main room you have your cabinets up the side right here oh okay upper bunk capacity is 220 per okay and is there USB ports what is that no Okay, I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so there's no upper USB ports. Okay, there's no lower USB ports. You have a 110 outlet here for the TV and a cable connection. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. Your cabinet right beside the kids' room. No shelving in there. You have two slide out drawers. Okay, underneath your cushions, you have a large storage area. Under each one. Kitchen cabinet. That. That's a uh, Jensen, uh, some sort of Jensen remote, and another Jensen remote. Oh, I'm sorry, for the Jensen television right there, and the Bluetooth stereo. You have USB port there. 
Uh, USB ports on this side of the master bed. Both sides. Both sides? Okay, so let's go over here. I was shutting up. Oh, so okay. USB port there. Interestingly, no 110 outlets. Okay, so there's the master bedroom closed off right now. Oh, and the TV pivots around. Okay, so the, the master bedroom, if you wanted to, you could flip the TV around, have everyone out here sleeping, and you could be in there and have the TV still on without disturbing these people too much. Up on the shelf. Okay, I think I showed shelves up above here by the microwave. Okay. So that black box you saw is some sort of control. That's your, okay, that's your control panel. Let's see here. So, okay. Step awning, I'm guessing lighting. Entry and curbside, I'm guessing lighting. And here's your awning extend. Now, one second. Here's your uh, tip out, power tip out. Okay, in here, let me see, now there's, there are storage under this bed, right? Okay, so these are large, very, very deep, large closets with a hanger in the top, so you can hang clothes there. You have a very deep and full width storage area above the bed. You have the front window that you can pull the shade down if you desire. All the windows have shades on them, so you can shade out at night if you don't want people watching you in here while you're doing whatever okay here we go here's our okay under bed storage so you can put all your bedding and pillows and stuff like that okay so we're gonna go outside Did you do the sink? Um, no I didn't okay so the sink hot and cold nozzle somehow detaches I'm guessing I'll like pull down okay so you can move that around so sink, two basin sink with a uh, actually a, a larger than a lot of them countertop prep area. Okay, you have a window right here by the stove. You do have a fan right here above the range. And that fan, if you look out here, vents out right there. Okay, coming down the side. Okay, you have your cable TV hookup. You have power outside. Looking down the side, this is your external cook area. So what this does is this goes up to these magnets, which hit down onto these magnets. And that snaps into place. Your external refrigerator, a storage shelf, an AC plug and a light. So you could put a crock pot or a coffee maker or whatever out here. You have a cooktop on the outside. This is your bumper where you put your uh, sewage tank um, hoses. This is your external shower. If you open this up, just like the shower inside, it has a hot and cold nozzle with a flex hose that you pull the flex hose out. You can stand right here and take a shower. You could also use this to clean up the uh, cook area. There's your furnace in the back. Okay, so this is your potable water entry. You have another TV cable hookup right here. You have a water connect, city water connection, a flush valve, and this is your 30 amp connection to your ground power. And this is your drain system for your gray water and your black water. Aluminum rims with, uh, I think they're, I believe this has 14 inch tires on it. Double axle. Okay, here's your pass-through storage right here. So you can put a lot of stuff. It's actually a really big storage area. Uh, a lot of them are, have a, a square wall front. This one bevels out, so if you stack stuff.